Chris here for Denka Tech and welcome to the channel and today it's the Arduino series. This is the part 2 of Analog Write Command. So let's get started now. Today it's indeed about the Analog Write Command. I do recommend you, however, to watch the previous video on the subject as this will help and make it easier for you to follow today's video. You will find all the links in the description down below and since you are there, you have the opportunity to help me when you like, subscribe or even comment whatever you want to share. Now, with all that out of the way and without further ado, let's see our setup here. Attached to the multimeter, we probe into the PWM pin number 3 where our anode is plugged into and from the cathode side we are connected to the ground on the Arduino as well as to the multimeter and this setup is for us to understand better how PWM works as last week we only saw the theory of it and this being the practical part. Now this is done let's turn on the multimeter and you will see uh, uh, yeah let's adjust it. On the left side we have the Arduino IDE and the LED close-up. This is for us to see better. I put the graphical interface and you can see that now it pop up here and it's full power. Okay, means it's fully on. And in the Arduino IDE, you can see the is at 255. And the corresponding line is at the maximum here on the range. And it gives you an average. Of course, the millimeter is not accurate, but it gives you an average of the voltage. Let's turn it off, put zero and send it to the Arduino. You will see here it will change like so. And you see the line flattened and of course we still have a little bit of power but this is due to the inaccuracy let's put it back at 255 and send this to the Arduino like so we clearly see the jump on the screen here and of course if you look at the voltage as well there is a jump this is what the PWM does all right it gives you an average on off on off on off but for now 255 is fully on now let's send half of it and see what's happened you see, as soon as I send it, which is about 1 to 8, okay, so 1 to 7.5, but you notice? Very weird, isn't it? But this is PWM, and you can notice that the power is almost half of it. And yes, we are at 128. Now, from the ID to the Arduino, I will send half of that, which is 64. Let's do that now. And you can see it's the same. Everything is intertwined. The line of the graph decreases, the voltage decreases, and of course the light decreases as well. And you can also notice the flickering of the LED as it is very quickly switched on and off. So now we will send to the Arduino the value number 32. And yes, there is no surprises there. But if you notice, the LEDs and the graph are both making the rapid switching clear. Although in real life, your eyes are not able to see the difference for the LED with the camera, it is now easier to notice the process. So now we will send 8 and see what we are going to expect from that. And yes, as expected, it is. Here we can see that basically it's on and off, on and off very rapidly. And this depending of which level you set. Let's say you want to pull the maximum power, which is in our case 5 volt, then it will stay on longer than it switches off. And if you want it at a lower value, like here at 8, then it will stay off for a longer period. So last week I did say that if I put 256, that 256 was 1. Actually it is not 256, it's back to 0. As we are limited to 255 if you remember but we put 257 and send this to the Arduino 257 it's one or one and a half something like that and this was to explain to you that if you want to know what's happened once you overdo the limit of the 255 now you know and if I want to do let's say 330 and I send this to the Arduino this is only to correct myself, of course, as last week. I did say something which wasn't quite right. So, and now you can see, and there we are. This is about 71. But as for now, that is it for today. However, I do hope that you like this video. If you want to know more about the analog write command, simply leave a comment down below. I would be happy to do a follow-up video on that. And just to let you know, I started the Patreon where, may you wish, you will be able to help me to finance further projects or other content like this video. And again, if you enjoy it, you know what to do. You can do your YouTube things, like if you want to, subscribe, you may as well. Or you can also press the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. However, if you do not like this video, simply leave a comment down below and tell me why it's so. I will try to improve for you guys.
stay safe and bye now!